Hello Blazers, it is your boy Roman, your favorite neighborhood Russian, how you guys doing today? Welcome to a brand new video and in today's video guys, we're gonna be looking at some hilarious Russian propaganda music. You guys know I love to keep up with the latest in Russian propaganda on this channel and today we're gonna be looking at a more of an artistic side of Russian propaganda, where essentially the ideology of Russians being in the rise and the entire world being wrong and Russia being the country that has truth on this side and it's on the right side of history, that ideology is also spread through propaganda music. <laughs> <laughs> I literally can't with this. This is some of the most hilarious stuff you'll ever see. And real quick, before we get into this video, I want to just say that a lot of my videos these days get age restricted and demonetized because of the subject matter, and this one probably will get uh, copyright restricted. So I'm chilling myself here. If you guys want to support me, if you guys want to support this channel, then you can go down to the link in the description and become a YouTube member. It's like YouTube's own version of Patreon, and it's basically a way to donate to me and support me. So yeah, now that the shameless plug is over, let's get on with the video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be talking about a uh, very popular artist these days in Russia who is basically a tool of Z propaganda because today we're gonna to be talking about a man named Shaman. So Shaman, real name Yaroslav Dronov, is a young 30 year old artist from Russia who looks like this, uh, got a bit of a dreadlocks going on which he actually claimed uh, <laughs> it's meant to resemble the ears of corn uh, on a Russian field. So yeah, even his haircut is very patriotic. But before we really get into it and tell you where this guy came from and who he is and who's behind him, I want to play you guys his biggest banger song, his biggest hit, a beautiful song known as Yaruski. Here it is on YouTube, uploaded in July, 19 million views, not too shabby. And guys, I have to warn you, just uh, prepare for unfathomable levels of cringe. <laughs> there it is, there it is, that's, that's what his haircut is supposed to symbolize, by the way. <laughs> it's just funny to me how that just the phrase I'm Russian is like the title in the chorus of the song. For me, the phrase Yaruski is like this t-shirt that like neo-Nazis usually wear in Russia, which is like, it just says I'm Russian as like one word and it's like super Slavic font. But now it's a hit song with 20 million views. So, you know, uh, makes you think. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> let's turn up the saturation a little bit. Is this a secret message? I don't know. Actually, guys, I'm gonna play the song a little bit sped up just to try avoid YouTube copyrights. I can't. I just can't. I cannot take this shit seriously. This is insane. Basically, the song is about being Russian and being proud of being Russian. And, uh, you know, the verse is whatever, but the chorus. The chorus is the most important part here. Let's check it out. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> he's got leather pants on, he's got dreads, he's trying to be Kari so bad. Except Playboy Kari is not Z. Motherfucker be like, who your favorite artist? Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah, that's my favorite line, for sure. Let's pause for a second and really think about these lyrics. So, uh, I'm Russian, I go until the end, you know, until thermonuclear war, I guess. That's what that's what he means, probably. I'm Russian, my blood comes from my father. That's gotta be a racist dog whistle. Let's be honest, that's gotta be. <laughs> it's either racist or it's super, like, you know, trad conservative, you know, like, family values, you know, which is Russia all about these days. If you watch any of, like, my last videos, you know what I'm talking about here. So, I'm Russian, and I've been fortunate. Well, I'm Russian, I don't really feel lucky at all, you know? I can't travel to, like, half the world. World. And also, my country is little like shunned by the entirety of the world. I really don't feel lucky at all, to be quite honest. But I guess this guy does, because he got paid like, you know, 200,000 bucks for the song probably or something, so <laughs> he is lucky for sure. But the last line is, of course, my favorite. I'm Russian in spite of the entire world. <laughs> what? What? What are you talking about? Again, the song is literally just pushing down that narrative, that notion of that, you know, that Russians are like the chosen people or whatever that are meant to bring order to the world. Because that's literally what Russians like, who are like, especially Z and imperialistic, that's what they think. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, this song is literally made with like Russian boomers and Vatniks and Z motherfuckers in mind. So of course, when they hear Russian in spite of the entire world, they're like, yes. 
fuck everybody, bro. I'm in my own lane. But when I hear this, I'm just like, bro, this is fucking sad. This is embarrassing. Like, why can't these people just realize that it's better to live as a part of a world community and living in spite of other people is fucking dumb. Just literally change Russian with any other nation in the song and it just sounds fucking dumb. I'm Canadian in spite of the entire world. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? So yeah, basically this is the music video. You know, he has a crowd which is entirely, you know, uh, people jamming out with like Russian flags and stuff like that, you know? And I think what makes this song even more cringe is essentially this guy's background. The thing is, not much is known about this dude, but I'm pretty much 99.9% .9 convinced that he's literally a project of the Russian government. So essentially, Shaman is like a TV show career singer type guy, you know? He's actually been in the Russian version of the X Factor and the Russian version of the Voice. So, you know, he's one of these musicians who didn't get his fan base authentically through coming up from the underground. No, this guy's a producer project that was immediately on TV. And now, essentially, this guy's career is being handled by some of the most famous and, you know, biggest Russian music producers and is obviously being used to push a narrative. One thing that kind of makes me believe that is that this guy dropped this song right here called Vstanyem, which means Rise Up, on February 23rd, 2022, which is literally one day before the uh, special military operation in Ukraine started. So uh, that is very curious, right? But there's more, by the way. Let's check out a bit of the song first. Встанем, встанем, встанем. Is it though? Is it though? I really don't think you got truth on your side. I really don't. Там сверху на нас кто-то смотрит. Putin? <laughs> I know, dude. I feel watched 24/7. I know what you mean, dog. Мы скажем спасибо за то, что победу нам дали. Yeah, so essentially this song is meant as like a commemoration to the, uh, you know, heroes who fell in the World War II defending Russia, you know, fighting against the Nazis and everything. Which is a commendable thing, of course, I obviously respect the veterans of World War II. But basically the song now is being used in a bit of a different context. And also, what is very interesting is that this song was actually played on a Russian propaganda TV uh, news show. Hosted by Dmitry Kisilov, which is one of Russia's biggest uh, propaganda pundits. And essentially like a few months after he dropped the song, this song was shown on on the uh, TV show for just no reason whatsoever because they don't ever make play music you know it's not like Jimmy Kimmel or something they don't have musical guests there or anything but on this propaganda you know news show where they basically talk about you know Nazis in Ukraine 24 7 they took time out of the program to play his song which is uh I don't know I just think it's quite interesting uh I just think it's quite uh, weird that happens and uh I th I'm sure Shaman has no idea why that happens also this guy right here <laughs> Yeah, he performed the Russian anthem in Crimea uh, on the day of the uh, Russian flag. That was two months ago, so uh, quite interesting. I wonder why he would do that. Uh <laughs> And recently as well, a new video was released with this guy Shaman and also a bunch of uh, Russian singing stars, Russian pop stars of the past and the modern, which is basically a cover on that song uh, that I just played to you guys, which was played on the TV show. Let's check out a bit of it and see what it's about. <laughs> yeah. This is so embarrassing, because these are like, all these people right here, they're huge stars of the Russian, uh, like, you know, singing scene. This is the guy from Lube, you know, Nikolai Baskov, Stas Mikhailov, Grigory Lieps. This guy, especially, by the way, fuck this guy, man, for, sh for real, because this guy, when the uh, special military operation just started, he actually posted about it on his Instagram, and he basically said, you know, this is terrible, we need to stop this, I cannot believe what is happening. And now he's here in this propaganda music video about to sing a song about, about you know, how, uh, whatever, it's important to, uh, you know, support our Russian warriors or some shit. Just absolute fucking zero respect. Absolutely zero respect. Fuck you. Like, actually, fuck you. At least all these fuckers right here, they've been known to, you know, basically be Z and pro Putin for ages because they're basically, you know, just sellout pea brain motherfuckers who are just terrible. I mean, just looking at, like, the average pop singer in Russia, I'm honestly, like, honestly makes me kind of sad about the country. But anyway. <laughs> Там сверху на нас кто-то смотрит родными глазами. I can't believe this. Like, they're using, like, symbols of the Second World War to push the, the narrative about the special military operation right now. Because they start off right here with, like, World War II stuff, and then they go on, and they actually show clips of the Russian army in Ukraine right now. What is this? This my f Oh, my God. I'm sorry guys, I'm just like, I'm just like burning with hatred inside. Cause these are people that I listened to when I was a kid. Like when my grandparents would play their favorite music, 
these people would be the people that would play. And I like their music. Because I was a kid, you know, whatever, I didn't know better. And I see these motherfuckers pushing this shit. These absolute sellouts who have no soul, who have nothing, who have no integrity, no fucking... I cannot believe it. I would... I, I, I need to control my words here, but like... I cannot believe, I just cannot believe how low Russian artists will go for money. It's crazy. It's crazy to me. Yeah, this fucker right here. This fucker <laughs> literally had a post when these special military operations started saying, Oh my god, this is terrible. We need to stop this. And now this motherfucker is Z. What the fuck? I'm actually speechless at this point. This is insane. <laughs> Look at his... Look at this motherfucker, bro. Just look at him, bro. Like, you need to stop doing cocaine at this point. Like, <laughs> let's be honest. This this bitch is like 150 years old at this point. It's fucking crazy. Like, they literally they literally brought dead corpses out of their graves to sing this song. Like, this is how old some of these fucking artists are. I never heard of their names in the last 15 years. And I wish I never heard them again because this is awful. Of course, yes. V. V. I just can't, I just, it just pisses me off so much how they mix the symbols of the Second World War, which was a war against fascism, with the current special military operation, with these, you know, staged ass videos. <laughs> what is this? Z. Of course. Of course. I really wonder, like, how these people sleep at night, quite honestly. Because I don't quite get it. I wouldn't be able to fucking exist with myself if I was like this. It's actually insane to me. I'm actually, like, trying to hold myself from saying, you know, things that would take this video down at this point. Who is this? Who is this, bro? What? <laughs> So this right here says, uh, punish NATO, God protects you, and you protect us. They put that in, the, in this video. They put that in this video. Of course, there he is, the fucking legend himself. I'm, I'm kind of, it's kind of funny because, you know, <laughs> he's already got his hands in the dirt at such a young age. Bro, you throw, you're throwing your life away. I know it seems like it's all good right now. You know, you're getting your money, you're getting your cocaine, whatever. But in 20 years time, you will be regarded as a fucking terrible person. And I want to say a certain uh, words that starts with the letter F. You know what I'm talking about, but, uh, no, not the homophobic slur, not the one. It's about a certain ideology, but, uh, at least all of these fuckers are, you know, like, 96 at this point, so they don't care, you know, they're gonna be dead in five years, but this motherfucker, he's already threw his life away at 30 years old, bro. I feel so bad for you, Shaman. You're actually dumb as fuck. Could not be me. Could not be me. And yeah, check out the final shot, by the way. Thank you guys for getting in line so that we can get a proper photo and, you know, just send this to The Hague. We, it's great. Thank you guys. You got the right polls and everything. We can clearly see your faces. Thank you. All of you. So yeah, this shit got 1.2 million views in a day, and the comments are great, as always. Uh, this song is for the ages. I don't think it is. It's just from forgettable propaganda garbage that sounds fucking tired as fuck, but go off. I'm 61 years old. I've seen so much in my life. I've barely missed death so many times in my life, but I'm still crying. Yaroslav, you're a genius. For managing to pass the voice of God in the song to us. These, what is this? It's like, it's either this is a bot or this is like a religious cult at this point. Transcending the voice of God in a song to us? What the fuck are you talking about? Stop drinking the Z Kool Aid. Wake up! You are so stupid. And yeah, also, essentially, it's very obvious that this song is Russian propaganda. I mean, all, this entire guy's career is Russian propaganda because, for example, I found this just recently, which was also uploaded today. This is basically an information campaign at this point. This is called uh, Oh Russia Flash Mob uh, Yaruski. I'm Russian for the Day of National Unity. And essentially, this is like like a video of people singing the song I'm Russian from different regions of Russia. Why aren't they why aren't they shaped like a Z though? Why aren't they standing in the Z shape? Russia's taxpayer money is going to waste, bro. They're not even standing in the Z shape. Not doing well enough at all. Yeah. 
I feel like this is pretty obviously a video that was filmed by the government because it, you know, it's too high budget, too many locations, too, too well shot, too well filmed. Okay, and I, I can't, I actually can't listen to this bullshit no more. But what I'm saying is that this video, there's a bunch of people who participated for this. It's shot well, it's shot in all different regions of Russia. So, uh, taxpayer money was allocated to this and it was filmed using Shaman's song. So, uh, if this is not war more counts of proof that Shaman is literally just, you know, a project created by the Kremlin, I don't know what it is. Also, Russian comedian Alexander Gutkov made like a parody of this song, of the Yaruski one, uh, and he called it Yauski, which means I'm narrow. It's pretty fucking good, actually. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty funny, and uh, actually the, you know, Z Patriots got so fucking mad at him for this parody that uh, the Russian investigative committee, I think, was actually, like, studying this uh, music video, the parody music video for extremism or something, which didn't really end up anywhere, but uh, it's also very interesting that if you make a parody to Shaman and to, you know, if you parody a song, then uh, you instantly get the authorities on you, so uh, also very suspicious. I don't know what that's about, but uh, clearly doesn't mean that this guy has any connections uh, to, you know, to the propaganda machine at all. Of course not. He's just a patriotic young guy that's doing it from the will of his heart, of course. Anyways, guys, yeah, what can I say? Uh, I wanted this video to be, like, hotter than fun, and I think it turned out that way, but uh, I actually got so fucking pissed filming this, it's insane. I fucking hate everybody who's ever participated in shit like this. You're actual traitors to Russia and to the Russian nation if you participate in this bullshit. No, not the people who are making parodies or making fun of the current ideology. These people right here are the fucking traitors to Russia and to what Russia truly needs, you know what I mean? So yeah, Shaman, I truly wish you, you know, great lengths in your career. I truly wish for you to, you know, get your hands in the mud and the dirt even more so that when uh, eventually we get to a better future, you will be thrown out and nobody will ever care about you and you will be shamed until the end of your fucking life. So, uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video nevertheless. If you guys did, then please make sure to slap the like on it. And yeah, guys, once again, if you want to support my channel, donate to me, you can go to the description, to the link, you can become a YouTube member. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.